on him, they laid the cross that he might bear it after Jesus. Luke, chapter 23, verse 26. We see in Simon's carrying the cross, a picture of the work of the church throughout all generations. He is the cross-bearer after Jesus. Notice then, Christian, Jesus does not suffer so as to exclude your suffering. He bears a cross, not that you may escape it, but that you may endure it. Christ exempts you from sin, but not from sorrow. Remember that, and expect to suffer. But let us comfort ourselves with this thought, that in our case, as in Simon's, it is not our cross, but Christ's cross that we carry. When you are attacked for your piety, when your religion brings the trial of cruel mockings upon you, then remember it is not your cross, it is Christ's cross. And how delightful it is to carry the cross of our Lord Jesus. You carry the cross after him. You have blessed company. Your path is marked with the footprints of your Lord. The mark of his blood-red shoulder is upon that heavy burden. It is his cross, and he goes before you, as a shepherd goes before his sheep. Take up your cross daily and follow him. Do not forget, also, that you bear this cross in partnership. It is the opinion of some that Simon only carried one end of the cross, and not the whole of it. That is very possible. Christ may have carried the heavier part, against the crossbeam, and Simon may have borne the lighter end. Certainly it is so with you, you carry the light end of the cross, Christ bore the heavier end. Also remember, though Simon had to bear the cross for a very little while, it gave him lasting honor. Even so, the cross we carry is only for a little while at most, and then we will receive the crown, the glory. Surely, we should love the cross, and instead of shrinking from it, count it very dear, as it works out for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Amen.